Now where is he going? Oh! Oh! Hey everybody, it's Andy, aka Max Ryder. We are back, whoa, with more Minecraft. We are heading into this dark ravine at night. And I was talking about the fact that they were driving through the snow last time. They essentially continued doing so. Yeah, we're going to get these upper edges as best we can. There's a cave up here, it looks like. And I hear something. Whoops. Missed, you jerk. Um. Okay. This is cracked, broken, scary caves. There we go. That'll keep things from spawning down there, hopefully. Think, how did I get here? I got here from this. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to head on in. Sorry, I've gone dead quiet. Let's go ahead and get these guys dealt with. Not much of this mine, maybe. It might just be mostly hull. Anyway, uh, they head down a steep incline, and the driver, who is also still the dilettante, loses control of the car. Uh, he hits the brakes to slow down, and nothing happens. That's something that has actually happened to me. No, no, hold on. Come here, come here. That's something that's actually happened to me driving in the snow, so... Uh, they slide down a hill. There's an old, an old man steps out from behind a bush or a pile of snow or a tree or something. They're not really sure it happened so fast. And they run him down. Um, <laughs> the, the, the car crashes into a snowdrift at the bottom of the hill and stalls out. So it's like, what the heck has just happened here? Um, they run back. They check on the old man. He is dying. He... But with his dying breath, he tells them the story of this town nearby. He says, don't go there. It's called Perdition. It used to be a good town. It was a mining town. Now it is not a good town. It's a bad place. Don't go there. Just just stay away. Stay away from Perdition, whatever you do. And then he dies. Uh, so they leave his body beside the road. They uh, can't get the car out. It is just complete. It's, it's stuck. It's stuck in the snow. It's not going anywhere. This is crazy. These are some crazy mines. Uh, I tell you what, I think our best bet is going to be to come down from over here, head down into these depths. So, do they listen to the old man? Well, they go, they see a sign that says one mile ahead. It doesn't say what because the sign's like old and rotten and wrecked. Oh, you jerk. Knocked him into the hole. Oh, he's still alive! What the heck? Oh, I am spawning spiders somewhere nearby. God, I hear them. Run away. I hear them. I know they're close. I hate freaking cave spiders so much. They scare the crap out of me. Such a wuss, aren't I? Dang it, do not get caught in a web. Murder the living crap out of me. Alright, so. Sounds like they're right above me. They're all around me. Let's get away from them. I mean, I'll feel better. Ugh. Lower 
They might have been below me, I guess. Uh, so anyway. This place, this place is a mess. <gasps> oh, this is a bad place to go when you're trying to dodge a creeper. I feel like rushing in, but I don't feel like being quite so reckless. Where did he go? There he is. Get on over there, you jerk. Now where is he going? Oh! Oh! God, that's... Okay, sorry. That's way too loud. More cave spiders around this end. So, um... So they find this town, little wrecked town, a lot of houses are smashed, everything. They stop in at the first house that they come to, uh, to, you know, to ask for help. Like, you know, where are we? What's going on? What is this place? And, yeah. Let's hide in the back here and make more torches. Um... The people seem really scared. They call up to one of the, um, uh, he sends his kids. Let's go ahead and make two stacks, like I've been advised in the past. He sends his kids to get Ezekiel. And when Ezekiel shows up, Ezekiel is kind of in charge of the village. He, you know, he's asking who they are, where they're from, what they're doing. They tell him. He uh, tells them, you know, nobody comes to perdition. They're pretty out of touch. But they're welcome to spend the night. Um, he talks to, uh, he says he will arrange... He'll arrange for a, um, you know, to get a room at the, the local hotel for them, blah, blah, blah. They all end up just going to sleep that night. Uh, they tell him about the old man and, and their car. He says he'll send somebody, you know, to, to reclaim the body and find their car. What is this? This is a weird, little weird tunnel. Um, yeah, and then they spend the night. Some of them have some, some pretty nasty nightmares. We're going to go ahead and grab these because I hate these things. what we're going to do, too. Let's go ahead and put this in there. Put this in there. And I guess we'll try going this way. So, um, so, yeah. Uh, they have nightmares that night. They spend the night in perdition. It, uh, it's not pleasant. I mean, it's chilly. They've got lots of blankets that the innkeeper gave them, or the hotel man. They've also got a lot of, um, questions. Uh, the next morning, why didn't they leave the next day? Oh, uh, Ezekiel tells him he sent somebody to get their car out, but they didn't have shovels, so they're going to have to go back uh, the next morning. So they pretty much just kind of bum around town. They don't really do much investigation. A couple of them find a billiards hall that's, that sells moonshine, or gives away, just gave them, was just giving them moonshine. So they're like, oh, we'll hang out here. And so it really didn't deal with that terribly much. Um, oh, this is messed up. Look at that. What's going on there? Uh, and that's messed up. We've got that to deal with, too. I'm not going to bother with that right now. I don't like the looks of it, to be quite honest. Ooh. So they just, they don't really investigate a whole lot. They, they want to talk to Ezekiel. He says he will talk to them. He is more than willing to talk. He says, come over for supper tonight. We'll, we'll, we'll talk then. That, that's a good time. Shoot, I'm hearing them spiders again. It's definitely cave spiders, I think. Could be wrong. Let's see what we got here. Bunch of rail, a little bit of bread. Not, not much of interest. Some watermelon seeds. Okay, this is where I was before. No, still not seeing tons, still not seeing the spider webs that would indicate a cave spider spawner. But I'm certainly hearing spiders. Gah. Could be down there. There they are. Oh, this this is a bad place. We're going to stay away from this end for now. Ugh, ugh. Mm, I'm such a wuss. 
Nope, other side. This is going to be a dead end here. We're going to stay away from those guys for now. I, I'm, I'm very nervous about cave spiders. So, um... Here we go. Holy crap, this is... There's that guy. that are buried. Let's, uh, let's clear everything this way. I hear more cave spiders, it sounds like. Holy mackerel, this goes deep. Um, anyway, oh, shoot, we're out of time. It's been ten minutes. That's not good. It's just a little trap. Yeah, that's all it is. A little trap hole. So many caves that break this place up. Cave noises to freak me out. Anyway, that's that's good for this time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.